Hello everyone. This tutorial will be about the last type of high voltage which is impulse high voltage. This type which is impulse high voltage is very important for us to study and understand as components in electric power system are subjected to impulse high voltage during two actions. The first action during lightning when lightning is subjected to uh, components in electric power system electric power system components will subject it to 1000 kilo volt or more so this voltage is very 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 high and may cause damage of electric power system components so high voltage electric power system components should be tested under this voltage so we should produce impulse high voltage in lab to test our insulator and our high voltage components under this type of voltage also impulse high voltage can be resulted from switching transients due to loads connection and loads disconnection from electric power system so this type is very important for us to understand and we should generate this type of voltage in our high voltage labs simply we should generate lightning stroke in our lab now let's understand and see the waveform of the impulse voltage when lightning strokes occur in electric power system the insulator or high voltage component will be subjected to this waveform which is the impulse voltage waveform impulse voltage waveform is a unidirectional waveform and reaches the peak value in few microseconds as we see it reaches the peak value which is the maximum voltage here in few microseconds this time is called the rise time so we have VB which is the peak impulse voltage also we have T1 is the rise time it's the time at which the voltage reaches the peak time also we have here the tail time it's also the time at which the voltage falls to one half of the peak value so V peak and T1 and T2 the peak voltage and the rise time and the tail time are the parameters that are defining the impulse voltage waveform so any impulse waveform is defined by T1 slash T2 and V peak this is the standard impulse waveform let's take example for example the standard lightning impulse is a standard lightning impulse that can be produced in our high voltage lab should have the following characteristics or uh, should be for the following standard impulse waveform first 1.2 slash 50 microsecond and 1000 kilovolt that means that our lightning impulse in the high voltage lab should having the rise time 1.2 microsecond and the uh, tail time 50 microsecond and the peak voltage should reach 1000 kilovolt but for standard switching impulse it will be 25 microseconds and 2500 microseconds and 1000 kilovolt this is the rise time also this is the tail time and this is the peak voltage so we have two standard impulse waveforms or voltages that can be produced in the lab the first standard lightning impulse and second is standard switching impulse to test the insulation under the lightning actions or the switching actions now we want to generate this impulse voltage we can generate impulse voltage by two methods the first method is called single stage impulse generator we use impulse generator but single stage this method can produce big voltage between 200 and 250 kilovolts for higher voltage we can use a multi-stage impulse generator it's also called Marcus circuit this circuit can be used for producing big voltage higher than 250 kilovolts in the next two lectures we will understand the first method and the second method for producing impulse high voltage to test our insulator under the lightning and switching impulse voltage